This is the actual picture that was on uh, Match.com. Sandra Eckenreiter thought she had found the perfect match. You're beautiful. I really can't wait to put a ring on your finger. A dream come true, this Massachusetts mom thought, on her first try with internet dating. My husband has passed. I have four kids. I work. And I work all the time. Calling himself Sergeant Hill, he told her he was stationed in Kabul on a secret mission so couldn't call or FaceTime. Instead, he sent pictures. It was, it was nice. But now she says it was all a scam. Sandra became suspicious when Sergeant Hill asked her for money. You, you work in the military. You should be getting paid. She started to send it, but had second thoughts. I'm asking myself, what are you doing? So she went online to verify his identity. Sandra's internet date was actually an image of, of WNBC sports anchor Harry Chickma, whose photos were used to create a fake online profile to lure women. It made me feel absolutely terrible. Match.com says they blocked the fake account and have a dedicated team and sophisticated technology that patrols for fraud. They say to protect yourself, never send money to people you don't know. Cyber experts also recommend doing a reverse image search of the profile picture. And if details don't match, it's a scam. And when in doubt, contact authorities. Rahima Ellis, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.